up to sixth, battling Robbie Gordon side by side. But Buffle. it's too far back. Yeah, right behind. Nice flag. Buffle got to run around Bush that time. I think he's going to pass back for third. Doesn't really matter. Nope. <laughs> this is the battle right here. Brian Vickers, he's on the high Coming side. Outside. Got a little bit of a runoff turn two. But a big block by Bliss. It's going to get exciting down here, boys. Go or go home time right now. Vickers turns it to the bottom, he's but he a, can't get by. He can't get on. He just can't get enough nose under him without getting into him. Oh, oh he, he did get him. Sideways. He him in. Vickers wins. He did. Vickers is beating him across the line just by a car limp. Mike Bliss did a whale of a job. Did we make it? Did we make it? No, Mike, you didn't make it. It's not the did first time. Did we win? Time. Did we win? That's Mike Bliss you're hearing. It is not the first time there's been a last lap spin on All-Star Night. Brian Vickers was the first to cross the start finish line from our view right up above the starter stand. Bliss came across sideways and that took all the momentum off his car. Well Vickers is all over the back of Mike and Mike is uh, doing a good job. Brian gets a look to the inside and when they come to the dog leg right here when he cuts down Vickers is just so close that uh, they touch. And Daryl, no one realizes that except for that aerial view right there, what a dog leg that really is there at that part of the racetrack. You can see Vickers. I mean, he has got the momentum and he's got the run. Now, Mike's going to kind of block him right here. And I won't even call that a block because Mike's really just coming through the dog leg, but Brian's under him enough that they touch. Looks to me, Daryl, like Mike Bliss is trying to get to the flag and he got dumped. Oh, there's no question about that. He got dumped. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a shot. Vickers was lucky to get by on the outside. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be real happy about that. From his car, still talking to crew chief Lance McGrew. Now, as we work our way around, the die tech guys looking at the left front fender of the car. A lot of cosmetic damage. Brian, a wild one to the finish. Tell us how it happened from your perspective. Yeah, I, I mean, I hate it for Mike. Uh, I, I'm, I hate it. I'm sorry for those guys, but uh, we came down to the wire, and there was grass there, and he came down, and I was there. I mean, I, I don't know what, what else to do. Uh, I was underneath him, and, and when he started to spin, I went right to miss him. Um, but I, I'm real proud of this GMAC Chevy guys. These guys did an awesome job. Uh, they gave me a good car. Uh, we just played it right. Um, I'm glad we didn't have to pit, but if we did, I knew we had a good pick group. Well, back in 1997, Ricky Craven advanced driving the 25 car. Vickers does it tonight. Dick? Well, Mike Bliss got out of his race car. His lips pursed, obviously terribly unhappy. We've got the monitor. You want to take a look at what happened out there? Walk us through it, Mike. He spun me out. The only thing I wish I'd have done is turn right and wrecked his ass, but, 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 clear that up. I don't know if I can say that, but. We had a great car. Net Zero Best by Chevrolet was great. Sat on the pole. Uh, it got tight there at the end. And uh, if that's the way he wants to do it, I don't, you know, we got 600 miles here. And I think that, you know, I don't like racing that way. That's not, I was hoping I'd beat him to the line at least sideways. That's what I was hoping. But uh, I guess when you're going for nothing to lose, I guess that's what it takes. And um, I wouldn't wreck somebody for that. But that's, that's the way he does it, I guess. He's in the big show, and I'm not. Well, still a fan vote. Who knows? Maybe you can make it. We'll see you next week at any rate. You did a great job. Chris?